Hey, Mini Fash, it's the 18th of May, 2019. You remember the other day, I have to show you this because this is insane to me. The other day I did, well, actually a couple videos. I think it was this one right here, the 23, 20, yeah, because this came out today, or yesterday rather, this article right here. A Cold War nuclear coffin leaking radioactive waste from U.S. tests in the Pacific Ocean. This comes out yesterday, and you know where this is? This is exactly the same place they were talking about the other day, Bikini Atoll, where they did the 23 nuclear tests on the 23 islands. And remember how Jimmy Carter was popping up everywhere, and he like he broke his hip and all these things going on, and then we had the USS, uh, the SSN Jimmy Carter Seawolf Submarine number 23, and all this crazy stuff connected to the Iran hostage crisis, the 440 days, so on and so forth, and then another article comes out a couple days later in the Jerusalem Post, has nothing to do with Jimmy Carter's broken hip, but there he is. I mean, meditating, praying, something. So all this stuff, this 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 nuclear coffin article comes out now. After all this stuff, it's crazy. But what it really made me think of was the other day when I did this video, I used an image here. This image right here that I used is an image that I've had for like two years. And the reason that I've had it that long is because when I saw it, Two years ago, on April 6, 2017, this image was put on Drudge, like, all day long. Republicans push button, right? And the spirit came over me so strong when I saw this image, it, it, I was told, literally, to take a screenshot right at that very time. And if you look at this screenshot right down here, oops, right down here, I'll show you, you can see that it was on... April the 6th, 2017. That's when I took that screenshot of this crazy nuke. And then I've made videos about it ever since. Not a lot, but several. And this image is just off the charts evil. Sitting up there on Drudge all day with the, like, demon clouds flying at you. I mean, look at that. That's insane. And there's all these skulls and death in here. But the most craziest thing is the king in here like 9-11 you know revelation the pit opening the king over them i mean that's what that causes me to think of and you know my spirit doesn't disagree with that they had a king over them revelation 9-11 and then okay i go back and i look back to april 6th and this is crazy because yesterday i was looking at the jewish calendar and I realized that on the 22nd, it will be the 17th day of the second month, which is the day that the floodgates opened, the deep was broken up, and the great flood began. Genesis 7-11, right? And this, is, I, can't, I can't help but show you this stuff. The, the 22nd, this is how I see these things, 5-22, 5 and 2-7. Five and two seven. So you have the seven seven, and then you have the twenty two, which is an eleven eleven. It's like a seven eleven double, and then it's the seventeenth of IR on top of it, which is the thirty second, thirty third day of the Omer. All these things culminating. But if I go back from when that article came out, and I go to the twenty second, this just blew me away. 777 days now think about this 111 weeks now this isn't the first time this is something like this has happened and it won't be the last because you know i have no idea when or how things are going to play out we we see it happening around us at breakneck speed so you know it's only a matter of time but the 777 to me was always uh, shown to me as the devil's jackpot is the nickname I gave it. The 777, the 21, the blackjack, the three sevens. Okay, I hope this makes sense. Three sevens, like MH370, these types of things. 
I'm telling you, this is what it's it's all related to. You know, uh, what is it? John 118 or 1018, I believe. I saw lightning fall from heaven. Luke 1018. My bad. So Luke 1018 talks about seeing lightning, uh, Satan falling from heaven like lightning. And the 777 is the, is Satan's jackpot. And that's how it's always been shown to me. I'm not the only one who's known this in history. Believe me, these Satanists know when they use these different uh, number combinations. I'm just telling you. There's a ton to this. There is just so much to this. I'm never going to get to it all today. But I had to show you this part. You know, as lightning from heaven. 777. Seven, seven. I've gone over this before, and we are in the midst of the separation. What's happening is God's Spirit's being poured out on the earth, and He is calling you. And if you haven't gotten that call, you need to call on the name of Jesus. And He will hear you if you have a sincere, contrite, and humble heart. Okay, it's, it's imperative that this happen, because a lot of things seem to be coming down. They just do. The, the same video that I was uh, doing the other day, remember Jimmy Carter? All the Jimmy Carter stuff that was going on? I mean, it's off the charts. He's everywhere. Jimmy Carter, Jimmy Carter. Uh, the sub, Jimmy Carter. The 23. The Bikini Atoll Islands. The 2323. Israel had a 4.6 earthquake. The 46. And all the other things that we can relate to the 46. The temple. 46 years in building. It happened on the first day of their 71st year, 711. The 22nd, 17th day of the second month, Genesis 711. And look at this right here. This really threw me for a loop again. Uh, the Iran hostage crisis. Okay, like I said, there's a lot here, you guys. This began on November 4th, 1979. 40 years ago almost, okay? Now, if we take that forward now to today, it's 14,440 days. I mean, are you kidding me? And it lasted 444 days. If we go to the 22nd, the 711, 711, three times actually, it's 14,444 days. My random Bible verse yesterday was John 1:14, which begins with, in the beginning. Remember Bereshit, the 411, it crashed on the moon? Yeah, 411, Bereshit, in the beginning, John 1, 14. Oh, the meanings of these words, too. It's insane. Really. They sent the Abraham Lincoln to the Persian Gulf. Lincoln was the 16th president. Carter was the 39th. There's 23 in between them. The USS uh, Jimmy Carter, the Sea Wolf. Abraham to Jesus, 14, 14, 14 generations. The 14,444. It's mostly the 777, though, that I really have to stress to you because that just flew itself in front of me today and, like, really kind of shocked me. This is the Iran hostage crisis to the 22nd. Look at this. That's off the charts to me. I mean, again... It's not the first time things have lined up like this, but, you know, it just gets better every time. <laughs> I pray you know Jesus. I truly do. But I got to share this stuff with you guys. You know that. I love you guys. This is like uh, even more, and I'm not kidding. You see the notes here. They're kind of jumbled up right now, but there's much more I want to get organized when I got time and uh, share this stuff with you because it is so so interesting and just plain cool god is awesome man all glory to god i hope you know him i really do hope you're having a good weekend peace and grace to you many fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. 
Wherefore take unto you the whole armour of God.